Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So if you are new here, just subscribe to my channel so you will get all the updates. So what are we going to discuss today? We all know that Java 8 is a breakthrough and it got lot of new features like lambda expression and streams and functional interfaces. The one we are going to talk about is streams. So in the stream there are two different ways how we can access the streams or the data. One is sequence way and another is parallel. We are not going to talk about what is sequence and what is parallel. We are going to talk about how the, it will work if it is a sequence stream and how it will work if it is a parallel stream. So what is the sequence in the first place? So one person doing one job. Okay, so what is parallel? The same job multiple person is doing. So that's what we are going to explore today. So the stream how it is going to react if it is a sequence or if it is a parallel. So before that, so let me create a main method here. Right. So first of all, first thing we want to know. So we are trying to uh, check the parallel also, right? So parallel how it looks, it will share the job, right? So when it is sharing, we need to know how many processes are available in the machine. Right. So first let me give you a count. Okay. So available processor. So the way we need to take the available process using the runtime so you can use runtime here runtime dot and you can get runtime so get runtime will give you available process so now i have available process and i can get the s out here so available sorry processes it's going to be available process okay so first what we're gonna do I'm going to write a method which will take the stream as the input, correct? So the stream, what I'm going to do with that, I will pass some stream and I'm going to see how it is reacting when it is a sequential or when it is a parallel. Okay, first let me write a method. Uh, let's call it as a print stream. And here it is accepting a stream of data. So for example, let's accept a stream of integer. So let's have some range of data here int li so basically what i'm trying to do is whatever the stream is coming i'm just iterating the streams and i'm gonna see each and every data is processed by which thread and what is the value for that so we all know how we can iterate i can use the traditional for each but i'm, I'm gonna use the for each is available under the stream so i'm gonna use a for each method and here so what is the data here so so this is the iteration part so what i'm gonna do before i'm doing anything i'm gonna print out something so what i'm gonna print here so i want to know what is the current time and what is the value and which thread is running the current instance correct so the first thing i need to print the local time so local time uh, dot you can use now method to get the current time and then we need to know what is the value is processing right now so value value is coming from the s right so and then what do i need to do so i need to know what is the thread which thread is running the current instance or current element so i need to print the thread name as well so the way we need to get a thread name so thread dot current thread and we want to know the name also right so I, I can use the git name so which will this entire line will print what is the value and which thread is running the particular element so now what i'm gonna do, i'm gonna do something uh, i'm gonna make that each and every instance sleep for certain uh, milliseconds maybe 200 so if i want to use that i need to go for try and catch block so i'm gonna use thread dot sleep let's take 200 milliseconds and obviously we need a catch block here so exception and okay so now we got the method which will take a stream and it will process each and every one of them so now what what do we need to do we need to have a data correct so let's create a range of data so i'm gonna use um, input stream which is fine right or you can use any collections so int stream I'm gonna use or 
let's do something like that so let's have a collection of integer list of integer okay so in the list of integer so list integers so i'm gonna use the int stream to create range data so range closed i'm gonna one to ten and then i need to use the box method to convert from wrapper to primitive or primitive to wrapper and then i'm gonna collect as a list because i'm expecting as a list of integers here so now all i need to do just pass the data okay so let's print some statements here so sequential flow here so i'm gonna call the print stream and i'm gonna call the list of integer and i need to pass the stream right use the stream so by default it's sequential stream let me run this and it will show you how many processors okay and which thread is running each and every element so right click and run okay so what is happening here so we have a 10 elements so all of them processed by main thread because I'm not using parallel so if it's a parallel it will share across the different threads so I have eight processor available in my machine so which means if I am passing the stream as a parallel it automatically processed by each and every individual threads so maybe here I can have eight threads because each processor can hold one thread correct so now what we need to do so let's go back to our code so I'm gonna command this method and I'm gonna call the print stream method again and now I'm gonna use the same inputs but only changes I'm gonna send as a parallel stream and let's see the outcome right click and run it it will be interesting just take a look at the code uh, the threads so 7 9 15 these are all which thread is executed which element so 6 has been processed by the thread number 7 and the value 2 processed by 9 so it's all happening simultaneously so it, it will not wait for the first data needs to be completed then it will take the other data it's a pa it's a parallel flow so we have eight processes all eight of them share some of the elements and they will execute much faster that's what i'm saying doing a job as a single person is different and doing the same job with a multiple person it's always efficient so what happened here so how the parallel flow is much more efficient here so normally how do we handle this we have to write a lot of multi-threading codes to handle the data and now it happened automatically with the help of parallel streams so in the next video we will talk about what is parallel stream and what is a sequential stream and which one is much faster when it comes to performance so signing off thank you